plays is... Robots um, deck. Robots. You shut your There's mouth. There's no affinity in it. It's robots. Listen, when you become an aficionado of the deck to the point I am, you will call it whatever you want. All right. So what were you saying about the robots deck? This affinity deck. That robots you have deck. The, the affinity deck is... Uh, Mud aggro deck. What are you talking about? <laughs> the mud aggro doesn't deck. doesn't make any sense. It makes perfect sense. All right. Looks like we have a keep from yeah, Jake. Yeah, we have double keeps. Um, How important is it to have a good seven when you're playing mud aggro? When you're playing affinity, it's uh, it's pretty important. Like you, you mulligan fairly aggressively. So you have something in common with both of these players. Uh, you what play affinity you like Joey, about? and you have a pizza tattoo like Jake. I don't have a pizza tattoo. Is this what it's gonna be this round? Is this you decided you decided just to that you're gonna just troll me this round? Is that is that what's happening? Only when the opportunities present themselves. All right, so we've got Serum Visions. I don't even know if I want to contribute. Both on I, top. I don't even know if I should open my mouth. Well, that's up to you. Dark Seal Citadel, Springleaf Drum, Mox Opal. Uh, looks like we're going to see a Vault Scourge here. Oh, wow. It's in a very strong turn one. What do you think about this one? Pretty strong? I agree. Uh, let's see. Jake is going to follow up his turn one serum visions. Really? So, I think Jake has a lot of strong uh, plays against the affinity deck. Is I know he has lingering souls. Sure. In his deck, and that card is one of the more difficult cards to punch through, uh, especially when you're playing these 1-1 one, one flyers. His spirits just trade off with yours, uh, and he, he just gets ahead by a lot of cards that way. Definitely makes sense. So would you consider, like, Steel Overseer and Master of Ethereum to be huge draws for Joey? Yeah, they're, they're, premium, they're premium cards against any kind of token strategy. Um and I know Joey has him in his deck. He plays a very heavy blue version, from what I remember. Mm, interesting. Um, and the other card that might get him through here is in Soul Artifact. So Whoa. We'll see. we'll see if we get an island here. That'll confirm my... There yeah, it is. We get an island. That confirms that previously Joey's played these very heavily blue versions of Affinity. And then we have this bizarre kind of cut. So we're All right. <laughs> on the main deck, or uh, main phase, rather, Path to Exile. I mean, it looks like there is a a cranial plating. So you got to be There's careful here to not, artifact. to not cast uh, cranial plating right into your, your opponent's spell snare here. Alright, looks like... Looks like the way is clear for Spell Snare. In Soul Artifact. We're going to Swan Song it. All right, so we got Swan Song. All right. Can we get a bird token? Jake, can we get a bird token? Jake, bird token? Pull up a bird token on the stream. There. Not There's, a Swan Song. There's What's Swan the token? Song. You got this blue energy coming out as the bird. And it looks like... A blue bird. Can we just get a picture of a blue bird on the stream? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Looks like we're just going to switch life totals here. 16 for Jake, 17 for Joey. Passing the turn. So this this is uh There's the swan. That's a beautiful swan. Beautiful nice. bird. Beautiful Pretty bird. Pretty birdie. This is where you want this lingering souls. Yep. He's got the F and M art. I don't know if that's that just the art or if it's an actual promo. It doesn't look shiny enough. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of the Swan Song Lingering Souls combo. Uh I don't think it's a very high uh very high on the bow meter. It's not a total non bow. 
but uh, it's pretty close. That okay. shouldn't be a problem here. Yeah. Okay. All right, now we've got another bird. I think that's the right place okay, to Okay, yeah, yeah, I agree. Unless unless you were going to commit to put the counters on the Vault Scourge after the block. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of using that to trade. I want to trade the bird for the, the souls tokens. Yeah, yeah that wasn't my favorite line of play. Sure. Because we've got more souls tokens coming in here. God, this, this deck's nice. You don't know what's coming out of this deck. Is it Thought Scours and Negates? Played his fourth land. So I don't know what's either... going on here. So he could have he could have flashed back the lingering, lingering souls, souls and played the honor of the pure, right? Which I think is ideal. Right, you get to kill two things. You get to trade a token for the bird and kill this. I'm assuming you moved the plating onto the vault skirt or the signal pest. But I mean, you definitely get to kill stuff. Absolutely. Ornithopter has been complimented. Uh, Joey's got a lot of nice looking cards in his deck. I got nothing. Oh, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, that Joey just me. let him not have lethal. I guess he's playing around Path to Exile. But, like, if you put it, if you just counter up your Ravager. Well, every counter you put on your Ravager is one less damage from the cranial plating, right? Oh, yeah. Man, it's been a while since I piloted that one. There it is. Little. See, and now the attack here, uh, the unblocked creature gets cranial plating with, with the Glimmer Void and the Mox Opal. There you go. Makes sense. Alright, so... So we learned that Jake needs to cast Lingering Souls early and often. Yes. I think the turn he didn't cast Lingering Souls there uh, cost him the game. Absolutely. I think he definitely could have gotten back into it. Because if you use your Lingering Souls to block his creatures and then use Path on whatever like one guy's left that gets all the ravager counters or whatever. Absolutely, yeah. You get to you get really uh, that's how you have to win the game. That's your path to victory. Yeah. Ha! I don't like path on turn two main phase to accelerate Joey. Yeah, that's a that's a hold 'em. I don't like Swan Song. Although it's on like an soul artifact. So, yeah, he got a he got a head on that card. Um and, uh, but still, giving the aggressive deck a two-two flyer, like when your whole business is playing one-one flyers, is pretty, pretty rough. Yeah. Um, definitely uh, would upgrade that to a spell snare if I was gonna run this Esper tokens list. Right, or even a spell pierce. Sure. Sure. I think uh, game one's snare is probably a little better. You get to catch creatures with it. Oh, absolutely. I thought you were talking about out of the board. Oh, out of the board. No, yeah, definitely. Spell Pierce is something you want. Um, and you can just go full-blown with uh, Stony Silence, which doesn't do a ton because Joey's going to be playing in Soul Artifacts on, you know, you turn off my Springleaf Drum, I'll just make it a 5-5. Five -five. Right. Oh, we're de-sleeving and re-sleeving for the sideboard. That's some old school action there. It's all right. It's Were you ever right. in that position? I had, have. I have been. I have been as well. They used to only make like packs of sleeves in sixty. Right. And it was just very awkward. When I was a child, 
and like but this was before I was driving and I was playing Magic, mm-hmm. our sleeves would get so gross, and like eight dollars to get new sleeves was just like all the money we had. Right. I would clean them. I would like take them with soap and water, <laughs> like clean them and lay them out overnight to dry. Does that work? Yeah. What if you could just like throw them in the dishwasher? I think they would fly everywhere in the in the dishwasher. You'd have to like, like <laughs> peel them off the bottom and stuff. <laughs> that and dishwashers get pretty hot. Sure, you just melt them. There yeah. just be like a big ball of molten wax at the bottom of the dishwasher <laughs> by the end. But yeah, I definitely have cleaned more than one set of sleeves. You really only get one shot at that. <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine so. Unless you were like very meticulous and had like an old toothbrush, you just like scrubbed them down. Sure. But yeah, I mean, this is this is back when we were just any flat surface would hold, hold a game of magic for us. It didn't oh, yeah. matter. Playgrounds, cafeteria tables. Those are the days. All right. Jake's gonna be on the play for this one. Simple cuts. After the presentation. All right. We have a reluctant keep from Joey. Did he just scry? It was on six. Six cards in. Oh, okay. Man. What do you take here? I'll take the Vault Scourge. I like yeah. that. It ruins his turn one. Yep. And if he uh, if he has a path here, and Joey's whole turn one is... Oh, see, it doesn't work anymore. If your whole turn one is play one artifact in Glimmer Void, and you remove the artifact... Oh, yeah. You just get to get him. Get him. Yeah, so here, this is just a huge opportunity to get ahead. Um, all right, there we go. He's, you like the Ravager there? Ravager's fine. He's uh, leaving him with just the sideboard cards. Oh, man, that was a great draw for Joey. Oh, man. That is fantastic. fan Because getting that Aether Grid out early... You know what I mean, now Lingering Souls is just like the worst card in the world for, for Jake. Sure. Unless he gets some of his, like he's got Intangible Virtue in hand. Right. Which we know will get blown up by uh, Wear and Tear. Right. Which is fine. I mean, you're, it's going to eat one of those cards like... Joey probably sideboarded in a standard fashion for uh, for any any white deck. You, you bring in Wear and Tear to take care of their... Uh, Sony, Sony silences. silences. Yeah. Um, so. But yeah, now he just gets to sit back and uh, put the put the pressure on Jake with end of turn every turn just hit you hit you hit you. Yeah. And uh, if you're not. Intangible merch. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> adorable. <laughs> Hands off the verch, bro. <laughs> so he's left off blue, blue here. And Joey gets the pass again. Just, he's just gonna. Definitely should have attacked them right there. If he's going to play, uh... <laughs> yes! The guns! Oh, this is just great. Don't path the Memnite. <laughs> 
Do not. Just don't do it. I know you're tempted. Is that a remand? Is that yep. a remand? No. Can't tell what, what that we is. got here. We got a path. I think that's a. We got a path. Timely? A day of judgment. Oh, is that a day of judgment? Yes. Okay. I thought it was a timely reinforcements. And that is a remand in the back. Okay. So yeah, I. He just he needs action. Oh, that's the wrong response. That's a timely. Yeah, see, timely doesn't do anything here. It... All right, we're excited to have this card in our hand. Does he pay white for that? Is one of those basics of planes? I don't think so. All right, going to 22. 20, 20 even. Declines the cut, seems good. Um, yep, this is not where you want to be as Jake Zimmerman. I, I just I mean, if you have hate cards and you can draw into them, then this this clock is fine with you. Yeah, like two a turn from an affinity deck, you couldn't imagine anything better. Inquisish. <laughs> I don't know why you didn't fire off the remand at any point um, here. Like I don't think you're protecting anything. Yeah, I mean if he draws like a like a Master of Ethereum or something, you can remand that, I guess. Sure. Right, you gotta remand this. There you go. You did it. Yep. yep. Nice. I believe in you. Draw that card. You Draw. deserved it. Is that a is that a midnight haunting? I believe so. In a lingering souls. So you, no, you, you can't just so firing these off is really bad for him because the, the tokens literally just die over the course of two turns. All right, we're main phasing the instant. And, um... Yeah, let's just throw all these cards away. Yep. And so if he waits for one of his eight uh, anthems... Yeah, then this is just huge. Then those are gigantic. Um, in this situation, though, they're just... Yeah, he untaps, he kills the tokens again. And the swing's in for one. Yeah, this is brutal. Well, didn't draw a discard spell, though, so... <laughs> should worry about that. If your guys have more toughness, I can't kill them as easily. <laughs> but we're still just going to flashback this Lingering Souls. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. Yep. Basics here. <laughs> oh, it's <that's> great. <laughs> Just requested Joey to suck it. <laughs> suck it has been announced. Uh, getting in there for one. We 
go. So, Nintendo Bo Virtue came way too late, even if you would have held the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, I mean, that it, it means more damage would have gone to the head, and he right. would have been dead. But that's uh, still... before... Man. You got to fire <laughs> off the triple Inquisition. <laughs> um, it's a great thing about Modern. It's such a deep and rich format that every time you play it, you get to learn more and more. And Sure, yeah. I, I I think every time you see a different matchup or I mean we we had Jake reading a lot of the cards here so he clearly wasn't yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. familiar with the matchup, and, but I think next time he he goes in he's got a, a better chance and yeah he understands the affinity matchup a little bit better, and that's fantastic, absolutely, um, and there's so many different decks so you, you, I just feel like there's an endless uh, endless well of knowledge to be had just by playing the modern format. I would tend to agree. Like, there's a lot of critics about the modern format saying it's just linear decks, two ships passing in the night, minimum interaction. You just want to play the best, fastest linear deck and go to town. But there are decks that interact with those decks. Absolutely. Um, on that note, join us next week, Tuesday night. We get started at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. Join us tomorrow. For new standard. New standard, baby. John, I'm going to comment on it tomorrow. Are you going to comment on it tomorrow? Uh, Probably. All right, we'll be here. wonder if we'll get another mud aggro deck for tomorrow. What are you thinking? I don't think there's going to be any affinity decks. However, there is one in the format. Mud aggro, yeah. It's not mud aggro. It's, it's affinity. Mud, it's, there's no cards with affinity. But it's an what aggro deck. What does mud even stand for? It doesn't stand for anything. You're the worst. It's like mono brown. Like Mono Artifact. Listen, we're signing off. We'll see you next week.